and good morning so i decided to do this video um kind of a gear review of what i used on the at as well as the azt when i was doing my shakedown hikes and for information for people who plan to do some hikes and are not too sure about what to use for their feet so i began hiking that I knew that I was going to be doing the AT about a year, year and a half beforehand, going out on weekends and just trying to get trail legs. And I just had sneakers and just regular socks. And I was slipping and sliding on many of the surfaces. And I passed a lady and she said that she had Merrill boots. So my idea was to ask her how did they do on the surfaces and she said they had great traction they were lightweight they were comfortable they worked for her so that was one of my first investments on the hiking and i will show you my second pair of Merrill boots and i say second pair because the first pair that i had um, was a little bit smaller in size. I thought that they fit really good, but when I was going downhill, you have a tendency to have your toes hitting on the fronts of the boots. And what I ended up doing was losing three toenails on each foot. And I went to Peace Surplus in Flagstaff, Arizona, and they actually have a test area which has you go down slopes and you kick really hard down and it checks the the tread making sure that you're not slipping and as well as whether or not if your feet were hitting the front and i ended up getting these and these are if i can find the size an eight and a half and there are merrells it has vibram for the insoles and this is after about, I would say 400 miles probably on them. Still really good tread. Did never have a problem with them. They were good support for my heels, especially going through, for the heels, I should say, and ankles, especially going through the rocky areas of Pennsylvania. Um, they are a little bit heavier, but I found them very comfortable. Um, the other thing that Peace Surplus taught me was the heel lock lace. So instead of going side to side up here at the top, you go from one eyelet to the next and then run the shoelace through that as making a new loop. And what that does is it keeps your heel back in place, which prevents the toe slippage and preventing um, your toes from hitting the end and it also takes care of another problem that many hikers um, experience as well as myself and that is the Achilles tendons problems by keeping your heel back in place you don't get the rub back here on the back and then it keeps your foot in place saves your Achilles tendons so again, these are the second boots that I got that are both Merrells, both of them. These ones were a little bit bigger. I think the other ones were a seven and a half. Um, but what with that said, I use the darn tough socks and they're a little bit thicker than my other socks. And I first went from my normal everyday socks to some thick Merrell wool socks. They were way too thick. I didn't like them, my feet sweated in an awful lot, and I had more friction and abrasion. Then I got some farm to feet socks, and they were a little bit too thin. So the darn tufts are what worked for me, and this is exactly what I'm saying is for me. Everybody's a little bit different. You need to go out and test your um, experiences on different hiking trails and figure out what works for you. Now, Inside here, I will show you that they have the Merrill Takeout liner. Underneath that, I would always use 
the basic Dr. Scholl's plantar fasciitis, as well as the, the three-in-one that helps your arches, your knees, and your hips. So while I was on trail, I believe I was in um, Delaware Water Gap, and I found some oboes inserts. And after I got across the, I believe it's the Delaware River, um, basically a two mile hike or a walk across, I was starting to feel a lot of pain. So I ended up getting rid of all of my other inserts that I had in there. And so I just use the Merrill as well as the Oboes. And that's what worked for me. Now, after I got past a certain point and I was able to get my vehicle, I ended up putting these ones aside and I got out my other mineral shoes. So these are a lot lower cut, a little bit lighter. And these ones are only a size eight. So a little bit smaller, but I never had the toes hitting the ends and I never had to do the heel lock lace. Um, these ones probably have about 300 miles or so on them. And you can see that the tread is really good still. Um, it's not falling apart or anything, so I really like them. So on my zero days, I would wear Merrill sandals. Um, I originally got these because on my way out to the AT, I was meeting a friend in San Antonio and we were going to do a lot of the river walk and thought these would be nice. And she said, well, paint your toenails. Well, that's one of the things that you should not do when you're hiking. You need to be able to see your toenails when you're hiking because if there's any, any issues whatsoever, you need to be able to see what's going on. So when I was hiking, I would always have a couple of things with me in a Ziploc bag, mirror, and tweezers, some emery boards, cuticle scissors, and the big toenail scissors. And the reason why I use the bigger ones instead of the littler ones is because I have very thick, tough nails, both on my fingers and on my toes. And I keep my toenails very short. So I'm going to stop this right now so you can see just how short. Okay, so you can see just how short that I keep my toenails. Basically, my pinky toe has always been non-existent, but when I trim it, it's hardly ever there. So when I was hiking these three toes on both sides, I lost the toenails originally. And then after that, I had no problems. Now I did get a little bit of a hot spot right here, so it turned into a hard callus. And then on the bottom down here, same type of thing. When I was wearing the thicker socks and then the thin farm to feet, I was getting those hot spots. All right, I'm gonna stop it, flip you back around. All right, also, when I had my own vehicle and I was in town, I would have a pair of sneakers. Guess what? Merrill as well. So they make boots, sandals, low hiking shoes, and sneakers. And the sneakers have a wider toe box. They're very comfortable. I think I've probably put maybe 150 or so miles on them. Again, the tread is great. It's very soft and cushiony. It's almost like walking on a cloud. Very lightweight. Um, it does have the extra hole at the top so that you could do the heel lock lace and a lot of runners actually use the heel lock lace. All right, so that's the gear review. I. Love Merrill, obviously. <laughs> it works for me. Whatever works for me might not work for you, so I did not suggest it. All right. Um, I do not receive any money from Merrill for this or anything like that. This is just letting you know what worked for me. Um, when we were in Pennsylvania, we were coming up to a water crossing um, by Roush Gap. Um, the Beaver Dam had made it so that it was pretty much of a water crossing. So I had shoes similar to these. They were more of the, I guess, boat shoes or whatever, the ones that people go tubing in and stuff like that, but they were heavy. These are also heavy, but I didn't actually take them with me onto the trail 
because of the weight and I wanted to keep the weight down, but I also did not want to get my boots soaking wet and I didn't want to go barefoot through there. So I ended up buying these. Again, very heavy. Um, some people like these uh, cinched down ties. I'm sorry, but I'm old school. I like to tie my shoes. I didn't particularly care for those. Um, so I don't really wear these very often. I did pick these up at a hostel and I think that they were already used. These are eight and a halfs. So I know a lot of that wear and tear is not actually mine, but for 15 bucks on the trail at a hostel and getting through the, the wet areas, it was nice as camp shoes, but as soon as I got to Hamburg, Pennsylvania, I was able to get a pair of Crocs. <laughs> Very lightweight. I highly suggest getting Crocs or the cheaper versions that you can get it at it at many places. This was at a Cabela, so that they were very expensive. I think they were around 50 bucks. And these ones are actually a size six. <laughs> so all sizes are all different. You really need to try them on. Um, I liked them for camp shoes, not so much for walking around in town, but they worked for a while. Um, I don't get the whole surface inside there. Um, maybe some people like that grip or something like that. I really don't. Um, but again, it's, it's whatever works for you. The little straps make it easy to hang on the outside of your bag. I always put mine in the kangaroo pouch. So that's it for today and what worked for me. Um, the Merrill shoes, the Merrill boots and the elbows liners with the actual Merrill liners as well. I liked them. They were lightweight, were comfortable on my feet, never had issues once I got the right size and used the heel lock lace and using the darn tough socks, keeping my toenails trimmed and doing a, a real good clean every night. In one of my other videos, you'll see going through Vermont that I got my feet really soaking wet and I would have to wring them out. Um, drying out the shoes is pretty easy. You undo the laces, open it up with the tongue all the way out. You take out the liner. And usually by morning, or maybe two days, so if you do a Nero and a Zero in town, they're pretty dry. If you're gonna be hiking again the next day, <laughs> you're gonna be putting on wet shoes, you might as well put on the wet socks. A lot of people would opt to have dry socks again the next day. I don't see a purpose in that. I like to keep the dry socks for at night if it's cold inside your tent or around the camp. So if you have any questions, put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. I know everybody has their own preference. Um, I don't really have wide feet, so the toe box situation wasn't nearly as important for me, the zero drop type stuff um, is not important to me. What's important to me is comfort, price, whether or not if they hold up on the trails and if there was any slipping or sliding, I like the traction. So Merrells are what worked for me and maybe you'll try them. I don't know. Thanks for watching.